water with. There's a lot of water, so much water <coughs> in Ontario. And so we would just go from river to lake to river to lake. Occasionally we had a portage. Uh, the longest portage I had to do was a half mile, which with a canoe on your oh, back yeah. is a bit of a walk. Yeah. But now how young. old would you be then? Oh, I was probably uh, 11 or 12. Really? That young? You oh, yeah. weren't 15 or 16? You weren't well, I, did, I eventually got to be 15 or 16, yes. Yeah. But by then I was a counselor at the camp. <laughs> yes. But before that I was one of the kids. Yeah. But I think it's wonderful to have had that opportunity, really, it was, when, it was, when it was wilderness. No, and it was a lovely memory, and it was wilderness. Yes. I remember we got to one place and found a cow, and we all made such a thing of it. How? A cow. There was a farm. They had, really? They, well, they were French. They were very small holdings. Yes. But they, there were a number of farms in the area, yeah. and every so often you'd run into one. And, and they'd been the, there forever, so and, and they'd been there. And there were a lot of power dams, so we'd... Yeah. we'd uh, in that part of the yes. world. Uh, so we would uh, get to a dam, we'd have to portage around the dam, yes. which meant we had three canoes, we had to empty the canoes, take the canoes over, and then we had to carry all the stuff yeah. over. <laughs> but you yeah. didn't tell the good part of the cow story, because it was after dark when you camped. Oh, well, that was the other door, the cow story. <laughs> we, we pulled up, see, we did the, the thing you should never do. We were, uh, we were late leaving or something, so we we canoed till after dark, oh, yeah, and we yeah. went over and, and set up camp after dark. Oh, we should yes, never do yeah, that, because yeah, yeah. if we'd <laughs> seen it in the light, we would have known that there was a farm around, because there's all <laughs> evidence of cattle. <laughs> <laughs> so we woke up in the morning, and I, I remember seeing uh, a cow with two feet in one of our canoes. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I saw. Yeah. That had gone through the canoe, had it? No, that didn't do any damage at all. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> we were unfortunate in that respect. <laughs> but I do remember waking up. And uh, we'd, we'd, we'd thrown a bit of canvas over a, a tree bough or something to shelter the younger kids, and we all were just sleeping in bedrolls and stuff. And, uh, uh, and we just got, eventually got back in our canoes and on we went. But uh, you, uh, there's so much water and so many little lakes, and so you could go forever. Yeah. And, so what's it like now, do you know? Oh, well, <clears throat> multiply by a thousand. I mean, there's a lot of people up there now, but there were no one. Uh, there were original settlings the, the people had opened up the area, were still settled on it. Yeah. So they'd be farming or something like that. They, uh, there was a f good French contingent up there, mm -hmm. French Canadians, in, that, in those areas. We should drive over sometime and take a look at it. You could drive the whole way now. Hmm? You could drive the whole way now. Well, I mean to Severn Bridge and then see if you could remember where the camp was. Well. We had to go in by water, but right. I, so I, there were no roads then. There would be roads now. Right. Which will remain with You're in this one here, so right. if you go through and then turn, turn right. right. It's got the lower bed. Yeah. And the view of the lake. So, Dad, you oh, have yeah. to make three martinis. Oh. Uh. <laughs> you've got a couple Perhaps of... I should do that. You've got a couple of dry people there. Oh, martinis. <laughs> <laughs> do you want a hand? Are you okay? Mm -hmm.